good morning on what will be our last day on the bike for this trip. So we're just uh, just heading out the backside of Cromwell now. Uh, we're heading for the Kawara Gorge first up. Yes. And down through to Frankton and then down the Devil's Staircase to Garston. And we're going to do the Nevis Valley in reverse to what we did last year. Yeah. So we do have the looming chance of a bit of rain this afternoon. So we'll see how we go. But we don't have all our gear. All our gear. We've got one little bag on the back with uh, a few tools and a bit of wet weather gear and, and some snacks and uh, a couple of drinks on board. That's about it. So uh, yeah, we're much much lighter aren't we? Yeah, could be good going through because the Nevis last time we were fully loaded and on on, on tour where yeah today it's just a, just a day trip. Had to squeeze in one more day on the bike. Yeah and the, the big thing we're ticking off is we've never been down through the Devil's Staircase on a bike so probably be hectic with all the car traffic but you know it's just another one of those roads to tick off the list I guess. Yeah we've been up the lake a couple of times up to Glenorchy but we haven't been down so yeah. yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll get through the Kawara Gorge for a start and uh, out the other side probably stop have a cup of coffee in Frankton or somewhere down through there. Grab a bit of extra fuel and uh, yeah we'll see you down the road somewhere. Two up. New Zealand series number three. Undercover area. Wet weather's on. Camera's off. And we'll continue. Stop down, uh, not sure where we are, we're just a little bit south of Jack's, uh, Jack, Point. Jack's Point, just before we start on the Devil's Staircase. 
thought he'd pull his camera back out. The weather doesn't look too bad hidden down here at the minute. So um, nice to have this camera on so we can get a bit of sound and tell you what's going on. Paparazzi's just over here doing photos. <laughs> I just fit in. <laughs> you just got to jump around like the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? Where are you from? <laughs> Auckland. Having a best life. Yes, yes, living their best life. Uh, Western Australia. Good? Yep. I'm going to be able to get out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Camera's on, yep. It'll be cue the rain. <laughs> <laughs> sunny day but the lake looks a little bit brooding yeah but in the clouds it's cool it's probably decades since I've been along here I, I drove it in 2020 in a rental car. Yeah, I think we probably did we do it in a motorhome? Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. You can imagine when it was potentially a single lane. Single lane, dirt track. Dirt track. <laughs> winded around the side of the lake. It probably earned its name back then. Yeah. Probably not so much today. Queenstown over there. Actually not too much traffic on here at all really. No, we're definitely going the right way. sort of shining down there a bit. I'm hoping. Oh, we found the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the rain's just picked up a bit again, so gonna pull in here and pop these cameras off for a bit. Just a bit tricky with those mics, can't have them getting too wet really. And certified self-contained vehicles. Yeah. Peace, there's a few in here, isn't there? Yep. Well, there's no free camping anywhere north. Yeah, true. So. All right, that'll be it for a bit. We're going to head down to 
gassed and get a cup of coffee and then uh, then we'll pull up the hill and start on the Nevis. What are you doing? Hand warmers. Oh, so I don't <laughs> get one. Um, oh, it might be easing up a little bit, but we'll just hide under the only little bit of shelter there is and drink a coffee. How's that? There's a big GS stuck in at the first river crossing. Oh, really? Yeah, you need some oil, apparently. Oh. All right. You good? Yep. Oh, that was a good timing for this one. Wasn't it? <laughs>
crossed over to the other valley and the clouds is low. Absolutely stunning. That way, I think we might hit some more rain at some point, but it looks okay. Yeah, it does look like we could get a bit wet up in here. For the sake of the camera, I just walked through there. And I'll go through here. I have the wet boots. But uh, here goes. Okay. I think probably better that I wasn't on there. Bike's clean. <laughs> yeah, well, while you're not on there, I can put my feet up, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. Perfect. <laughs> Nice and straight. 
Keep it down under that one. <laughs> Watch it right, that one. It's about three years, so it's not going to hold the chip. <laughs> it's not really fit for purpose, is it? Be about halfway back up the the Ben Neva side. Beautiful afternoon. Um, good look right back down into the valley. Uh, can't really see the back of the backer of the of the remarkables are out through here. Um, but uh, yeah, the rain is sort of chasing us a little bit. So um, pretty good run through there though. Not too bad. Some um, I reckon it was rougher than last year. Mm, yeah. Yep, um, and only marginally a little bit more water in that one crossing that, that Lee got off on. Um, I actually think you would have been fine I would have on been that. Fine, I think I, because there was bike stopped, I overthought it and decided I didn't want to get wetter than just my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Fair call. <laughs> Fair call. So we're going to carry on zigzag our way up the road out to Duffer's Saddle and uh, back down the other side and through to Bannockburn. Oh, Bannockburn pub might be open for lunch. Or it might be a bit late for lunch but yeah. Welcome to Duffer's Saddle. <laughs> we found the wind. Yeah. And the rain. Not too bad. Well, sitting at the top of Duffer's Saddle. A bit windy. Uh, it's about half past two in the afternoon on our last riding day for this this trip. Um, the afternoon will be back down to Cromwell. Yep. Tomorrow's a bike clean up day and gear clean up day. And then uh, following days back on a plane to home mm. so um, been a great trip uh, yeah. ticked a couple of real big tracks or trails or routes off the off the bucket list yep. so um, black forest black forest highlight yeah definitely definitely a highlight uh, coming over the Waikaya bush road um, that's a big highlight because uh, doing it two up I think that's a big achievement so um, happy we done that yeah um, Burt Munro, oh, cool, cool atmosphere, great event, great. Um, yeah, well worth it. Shame about the weather. Oh, uh, the Friday beach race though, the actual Burt Munro challenge was perfect weather. Yes, yeah. Um, to be able to sit out on the beach till like 9.30 at night, um, yeah, that was wicked. Good. Um, so, today was just a final ride day and um, this was a bit more challenging 
than I was expecting <laughs> coming this way. Yeah, it's been good. The, but, the rain made it a little more challenging too. So, yeah. well, that's okay. That's yeah. all right. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we've we haven't really done any any pushes on the channel on any of the clips for this thing. So, if you like it, give it a give it a, a thumbs up and a subscribe. Um, yep. If you're looking for some other info from us, uh, go and check out uh, Regan Rides uh, dot online. Yep. Um, I'm in the process of uh, uploading all of our GPS routes for the three seasons. So hopefully by the time you see this, all the routes will be up for all the trails and, and how we did them. Um, and all you have to do is uh, sign up, which is a free sign up. You'll get uh, notifications when we do a new blog post and then you're, you're free to download the GPX files and stuff as you need. Yeah. Um, other than that, we've had another awesome time here. Yeah. Um, so not sure when we'll be back next, um, but it, it, it won't be too long. <laughs> no, no. This uh, bike needs a bit more love. Yeah, and I think next trip will be uh, up around uh, probably Canterbury and the Banks Peninsula. So, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. All right, cool. see you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Last day. Uh, so from Cromwell today, another backtrack, but purely to fill in a little piece of the map that I haven't got yet. So we came through the Kawara Gorge into Frankton, and then we actually came down through Frankton and rode the length of Lake Wakatibu down to Kingston, down here, and then again, as you can see, piece of the map, we actually came back up through the Nevis, so I can do it in a different colour and back into Bannockburn and back into Cromwell. And that is our last day on the bike. Time to pack up.